Perspective, June 6, 2020 by Anna Von writes. We have three more weeks of this. And then it will all be over and it will be our turn. In three weeks the Muni government's bankruptcy will be complete. The evil foreign municipal government that held this country and all its people, both black and white, in its thrall will be gone. Imagine that? In just three weeks. I am already breathing a sigh of relief. We can move the capital back to Philadelphia where it always should have been. We can hold actual public elections again. No more political party lobbyist nonsense. It will be a brand new world, but until then, we have to grit our teeth and stay calm, because the enemies of all Americans are paying people big bucks to riot. Up to $1,500 a day to riot. Imagine what a deal like that sounds like to most people on the public dole in the inner cities? $1,500 a day? That's more money than they see in a month. So of course they are rioting. What do you expect? And at that pay rate, expect more and more poor people to join their ranks. Municipal governments are city governments and with all 185,000 of them bankrupt, they want to make up their losses via insurance claims. So all the municipal entities and the supporters of that foreign theocracy are pouring the gas on their own brush piles, figuring that they have nothing to lose and money to gain by doing so. It's all insured anyway. So tear it all down and build new in the aftermath. There will be all sorts of new construction jobs and new opportunities to redesign city centers when this is over. All the cash being injected into the rioters' bank accounts means that they are fatter and happier than they've ever been. Nobody will go hungry this winter. And they get to vent any sincere anger they feel about police brutality or anything else in the bargain. Not a bad scam from the perpetrator's perspective. That's why all these Dem governors and city mayors are refusing to ask for help. They want everything to burn and be broken. There's just a couple things they aren't seeing about this situation. First, we have all the bank records and transfers and numbers associated with this. We have their emails and phone calls. Second, we know and can prove it's an insurance scam. How do you think the insurance companies will take that? Third, we are going to charge their principals, the Pope and the Queen and their corporations, triple damages because this is being done with planning and malicious intent. Plus a trillion dollars per person for all of those killed. It's already up to 12 trillion dollars. In just three weeks all this will be over. So batten down and stay calm and know what you are seeing is what it is, an insurance scam. If you enjoy having Anna's latest articles made into videos, please consider making a purchase from Ed's website sacredintuitiveelements.com. Thank you.